When starting your journey in Reddit Online, there is a lot of mistakes you can make, and I have certainly made them too, but I have learned from them. Therefore, in this video I will be going through 10 of the biggest mistakes new players make in Reddit Online. But before we get into the video, I just want to tell you guys about my personal channel where I upload similar content to this just on GT Online instead of Reddit Online. So if you're interested in Reddit Online and also GT Online tutorials, then I recommend to subscribe to my personal channel, Jones McFlurry. And of course, for RDO, you gotta subscribe to this channel. If you do that, you are a legend. Getting back into the video. As I said, I will be going through 10 of the biggest mistakes I see new players make in Reddit Online. And I guess let's just begin. At number one, I have character customization. And you might be a bit confused about this one, but it makes sense. At the beginning of your game cycle, you need to customize your character. And this shouldn't be really a problem, you just do what you want and then you leave. But the thing many new players do is that they want to hop into the game as fast as they can, so they just rush to character customization and then make their character really ugly and not any good at all. So what ends up happening is that later in the game, the player then wants to change the appearance of the character or have to pay a price to actually customize your character. I will say that you do get a free customization after you have completed the character customization in the beginning. So you do get a free change if you've already uh, customized your character pretty bad. But in general, you should take your time with your character so it does look good when you start the game. It's not fun when you need to go back and change your character later. Use that free customization option as a bonus if you ever need to change something or you want to change up your character a bit when you've got quite into the game. Make your character look good or however you like so you know you don't need to change it later. At number two, I have doing missions too fast. This is a very, very common mistake that new players make or noobs make. And you wouldn't think that this would do anything, doing missions too fast. How can you do the mission too fast? Well, if you didn't already know how it works in Reddit Online in terms of payouts, is that a general rule of thumb about this is that the longer you are inside a mission, the more payout or the more gold and XP and money you will get. Therefore, when you're doing missions too fast or rushing through missions, that then means that you will not get the max payout and you will get often next to nothing depending on what you're doing. So therefore, the right way to do basically most the missions in the game is to wait the timer out because you always have a timer at the top of your screen almost always and at the end around one minute or 30 seconds or so then you can finish the mission then you'll get max payout with gold and cash and everything and it will be much greater than what it would be if you did it a lot faster at number three i have not prioritizing gold over cash this is a thing that i didn't really think about before but when, I'm, when I was making this video about the mistakes new, new players make, then I came over this and it's actually pretty true. You should prioritize gold over cash every time because gold is way more valuable than cash. And in my opinion, the number one reason for this is that you buy rolls with gold. And buying rolls in Reddit Online is how you progress in the game. So therefore, naturally, it makes gold very useful. Another thing is that gold is way harder to get than cash. So therefore, if you are trying to get gold over cash or you, of course, you will want to get cash too. But if you're trying to pr prioritize getting gold from the start, you will have a lot of gold. And trust me, you will have a lot of cash too, because cash is much easier to get when you have got quite long into the game. So do prioritize gold over cash is worth it. At number four, I have not doing daily challenges. And this especially applies if you come from GTA Online and onto Reddit Online. Because in GTA Online, daily challenges does next to nothing. They are not really re useful or they actually are a bit good if you play every day for like 30 days. But who in the world wants to do that? 
So in GTA Online, basically nobody is doing daily challenges. So you would maybe think that about Red Dead Online 2, but actually in RDO, daily challenges is one of the most important mechanics you have to do. Because daily challenges is one of the best ways to get gold. And as you remember, as I just said, you should prioritize gold over cash in the beginning or basically throughout the game cycle. So daily challenges is really good in, in Red Dead Online. So make sure to not be the guy that doesn't want to do daily challenges because he thinks it's boring or something. It's a really good way to earn gold, especially if you build up a streak, then you will earn a lot of gold. Similar to this, at number five, I have awards. These could be compared to daily challenges quite a lot because they both are a gold grind. There's many awards that can be done and then reset for, for the gold nuggets, which is quite a lot of gold for every award that's reset. And I see a lot of players that don't even know what awards is. It's basically achievements in the game, but some of them you can reset and do again to get more gold. And for every time you reset it, you will get gold. For most of these awards, they will cap at 10 resets. So after you have resetted a award 10 times, you now cannot reset it anymore. It's capped. But still, even though many of these awards cap at 10 resets, they are still really good to do and you should definitely do them. At number 6, I have a mistake you probably have not heard before because it's relatively new. And that is doing stranger missions over blood money missions. A few years ago, we used to do stranger missions in the beginning to get your first gold and get your first roll. This would most of the time be the bounty hunter roll because there you can earn more gold. Anyway, last year, the blood money missions or the blood money DLC came out. Many beginners don't know that you can begin blood money missions the second you spawn in free roam. You don't have to buy anything to do the blood money missions, they are basically free to play. The blood money missions and the stranger missions are quite similar, however, the blood money missions do pay out more, especially the opportunity missions in the blood money DLC. They are much better than the stranger missions and you should do them. This is now the best way to grind up to a roll in the beginning before you have any rolls. So do not do stranger missions over blood money missions anymore. When you spawn in, go to Saint Denis and start the blood money missions. If you have never heard of blood money before, I have already made a guide on how to begin it. So go check that out if you want. But yeah, do not do stranger missions over them. At number 7, I have buying the rolls in a bad order. And this, this mistake is maybe a bit controversial because of course you can buy the rolls in whatever order you'd like. But there is a order which you would maybe call the best order, which is Bounty Hunter, Collector, Moonshiner, Naturalist and then Trader. I know many people like to buy trader and stuff like that at the beginning but in my opinion that is not smart at all because if you do not have the naturalist role the trader role is quite hard to do or you have to use a lot of time on it and you do not earn gold from it resulting in you do not go any further into the game with new roles if you don't get gold therefore i recommend to do the bounty hunter first or get the bounty hunter first because you get gold from bounty hunter then Collector because you earn cash from G Collector, then Mushana because you earn cash, Naturalist and then Trader. Yeah, of course you can buy them in whatever order you want, but I see a lot of people buying them in really weird orders, for example Trader first, which I think is not really smart as I just said. So this is the best order and it, in my opinion this is a mistake many players do. At number 8 we have not taken advantage of event weeks slash months. Before we had event weeks, now we have event months. However, many players are just doing whatever they want like Bounty Hunter and Collector, which is good. But if a pretty good event week or event month comes around, for example, the one we had, I think last month, which was the Blood Money Crimes missions was on double gold and double money and go double XP and everything and you got a lot of gold from that. That was the best gold method last month and you wouldn't even think of that because you would do bounty hunter because it's technically better 
but when it's on double money or double gold then it's better so look out for what is on double gold or double money you can look at the rockstar newswire every month they will release a newswire or you can just go in game and look at the benefits tab what their new event month is we don't have event freaks anymore at number nine i have trying to buy all the weapons in the game this is a thing i have not experienced myself i've never really wanted to buy all the weapons in the game that is something i would do if i had lots of money and also already have had all the roles and everything however many people are saying that they did want to buy all the weapons in the game so i thought it was best to put it on this list because obviously a lot of new players want to do that so do not buy all the weapons in the game at the beginning or try to do that basically what you need is a rifle a repeater a varmint rifle and a shotgun i will make a more in-depth guide on loadouts in red Dead online later but right now i don't have a video on that so i'm sorry for that but anyway do not buy all the weapons in the game especially not at the beginning and at last we have mistake number 10 which is not remembering to have fun remember this is a video game you're meant to have fun when you're playing it so do not go all out on only the things that will make you the most money and gold sometimes if you want to do a showdown series go do a showdown series then even though it doesn't make you the most money in the game if you're having fun doing it you should go and do it of course sometimes you want to grind and just earn the most money but sometimes that is just really boring like the collector role when you just go around the map and collect items if you're doing that every day for a whole year then reddit online will get really boring for you because you're just doing the same thing every day and then all that work will be for nothing because you don't want to play the game anymore and you've burnt yourself out so do remember to sometimes just let go of all the money and all the gold and just do whatever activity you find fun well then that was the 10 worst mistakes new players make in red online in 2022 if there was any big mistakes that i missed feel free to put them in the comments i always read all the comments and i respond to all the comments so feel free to put it there anyway i hope you enjoyed this awesome video and if so go downstairs and throw that like button into the wall so it turns blue and of course, don't forget to subscribe. That's all for today. I'll see you next week, lads. Farewell.